Hi everyone. Let's solve question number forty-seven. The number of terms in the expansion one minus x raised to the fifty-one multiplied by one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to the four raised to the fifty is. So we can see that this first term is having fifty-two terms, and this term is also having multiple terms, and it's not practically possible to multiply both of them and find out the number of terms. So we have to do certain kind of adjustments over here. So what I'll do, I can see fifty-one over here. I can see fifty over here. So I'll break this fifty-one to one plus fifty. So I'll be getting one minus x. 1 minus x multiplied by 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x is per 4 whole raised to the 50, right? So I'll be getting 1 minus x times 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x is per 4 minus x minus x square minus x cube minus x 4 minus x 5 raised to the 50. So we can see that this and this gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. This and this gets cancelled, and this and this gets cancelled. So what I'll be remaining with one minus x, one minus x is per five raised per fifty. Okay. Now we know that this particular binomial expansion will be having fifty-one terms, right? And we have to multiply those fifty-one terms with this particular expression one minus x. So if I write this expansion, I'll be getting something of this sort. A1 plus A2 x raised to the power 5 plus A3 x raised to the power 10 plus A4 x raised to the power 15 till A5 sorry not A5 A51 x raised to the power 250. So this is how we'll be able to expand it, right? And if I multiply this, I'll be getting A1 plus A2 x raised to the power 5. Now also I'll be getting a term like minus A1 x. Plus a two x is per five minus a two x is per six. So we can see that every term is having different powers of x. And what we did, we first multiplied fifty one terms with one, and then we multiplied with minus x. And every single term is having different powers of x. So there won't be any overlapping over here. So we'll be getting number of terms as fifty one into two, and that is one zero two. So B is the correct answer.